We are Nyeri High School. We are back. Welcome. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19, it says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Rejoice my soul, the debt is paid for all my sins on Christ. While in exchange, he gave me his righteousness so full and so free. Oh, rejoice my soul, the debt is paid. Humiliated Christ was for me to be set free. On him they spat, gave him wine plus girl. They mocked my savior, all because of me. But rejoice my soul, the debt is paid. There is a fountain filled with blood from Emmanuel's veins And sinners plunged beneath the flood lose all their guilty stains King of Jews, save yourself Come down from that cross, a son of God you claim, save yourself and save us too. He opened not his mouth, rejoice my soul, the debt is paid. It is finished, he cried, and just then the debt was cleared. Nothing I owe the devil, a son of God. I've been made. His hands and ribs shall I touch when I meet him in glory land. Rejoice my soul, the debt is paid. I do believe, I will believe that Jesus died for me. That on the cross he shed his blood from sin to set me free. To heaven he ascended, the disciples saw. The descending cloud, it engulfed my Saviour and ascended with him. Left were the disciples, looking in the air. In the sky they stared, hoping the Saviour would return. Into hours minutes turned, and hours into days, but no sign of the returning Saviour. Rejoice, my soul, the debt is paid. Dear dying lamb, thy precious blood shall never lose its power till all the run some church of God be saved to see no more. In a room the disciples waited with fearful hearts and shaken bodies. Their hearts feared the cruel men, for their eyes had seen the sufferings of Christ. The Holy Ghost descended and took his place. <laughs> 
their hearts overflowed with joy, peace, praises, and boldness. They conquered all and rejoiced again. Rejoice, my soul, the debt is paid. My friend, rejoice, the Savior ascended, a place he went to prepare for you. It is ready and waiting for you to repent, clean and polish the marks of sin. Remaining you won't, if this is done, before the return of the King of Kings. Rejoice, my soul, the debt is cleared. Ere since by faith I saw the stream Thy flowing wounds supply Redeeming love has been my theme And it shall be till I die Yes, I do believe I will Believe that Jesus died for me. That on the cross he shed his blood from sin to set me free. How life is meaningless. Now I'd like you to explain and then the, in the second question I uh, was asking how you can manage your Christian life and the peer pressure influence also. Okay. So the one for Ecclesiastes is saying that life is meaningless. Yes, when you're pursuing Kitwenye high last, you know, even if we will be educated, when you die your brain will decay. And that education in Aisha to have. Exactly. That is how. And even the Bible says that the whole universe, the heavens, they are decaying, they are wearing away like a garment waiting to be cast off. But you, O oh Lord, endure it forever. Now that is the hope. E Ecclesiastes, in Aponga Kukwanyasha, yes, these things are necessary. Like Sita drop out of school because I'm born again, definitely not. But then the thing is, that is not what it is all about. It is about eternity. Just like you're being told, fix your eyes on things above, not on the things of this world. They are to help you. The Bible says God has given us all that we need for life and for godliness. So how is it when, uh, what you need for life? Like we need money, we need clothes. Even is are for life. Like in watch a godliness, because then you don't have eternity. So then so that is what it means. It is it is meaningless when you're pursuing things that are just like chasing money. But then when you have the Lord Jesus and you're living with the blessed hope, which is that I have abundant life now and life everlasting. Even when I remove this tent, like Peter was saying, this is just a suit or a tent. When you die, where we haujakufa ni to license yako ya kukua on this world and imebaki kwa hii world. Wau naenda like that. So when that happens, you have life and you have still have life everlasting. Yes, so that is why. Now, the second one was about the peer pressure. Well, number one, the greatest enemy is the enemy within. Where when you are your worst enemy, you are like how? Because what you feed your mind is what you become. What kind of what kind of music are you listening to? What kind of books are you reading? The series and the movies that you watch? Your social media pages? Who, who are you following? Those things that you see and you hear, you know our senses are the windows, they are like doorways, they are the windows to us, now the soul. So, kama ninaskizanga secular music, definitely I will be swayed towards whatever that music is singing about. But killer music, ikona message in a propagate. 
kama reggae is all about getting high you know used to get high before performing hange perform bila ku smoke weed that's the spirit behind it that's why most people who listen to reggae also smoke weed so number one deal with the enemy within the bible says catch us the small foxes sizo vitu ndogo ndogo tu zenye bahati aliimba zinaka hizo they are very very bad because hizo ndio zinaribu our vines before they grow that is what the bible says so number one deal with that be careful what you let in fill your mind empty yourself hata kama umekuwa ukisikiza secular or whatever empty yourself of that which is bad fill yourself with the word of god be where the word of god is being spoken listen to godly music hizo zingine zitaenda zikitokanga as una jaza hizo zingine now secondly mind your company your company also defines you because the other house wanaongea so si inaingia tuko masikio exactly so na wakiona kitu kwa simu watakuonyesha eh hey, ona hiyo na hii so kama ni mbaya bado umeona exactly so number two, your company defines you if your company are people who are born again that's just how you're going to be because those are the things that you're going to be talking about evil mind your company the third thing after you mind your company ni sasa hiyo tu like environment yenyewe uko kaa penye Mungu anaongelewa Mungu anatukuzwa where you're feeling your conscience Mungu anatupea kila mtu conscience inakataa wachana nayo don't force it when you feel ah, see, i don't know why but this just feels wrong wachana nayo wewe enda zako baadaye vile tu tumesema baadaye utakuja kuona oh kumbe kumbe that is what was wrong with that these three they are very simple deal with the enemy within mind what you let in number 2 mind your company and number 3 your environment as well those are the three fundamentals and those three fundamentals utaendelea ukiongeza unajua kila life ya mtu ni unique utaendelea Mungu akikufunza unaendelea kuongeza there's no work for your life as an individual and that is how illustration today is on self image when i mask this ruler in water when the light rays enter a different medium it bends and so my ruler looks bent it looks broken it looks distorted it loses shape when we mask our lives in sin our life actually becomes distorted that is we make wrong decisions our lives look bent bent that is we lose focus leading to poor performance in life our our lives are broken or that is our dreams are broken and we are not able to reach our destinies in the book of genesis chapter 1 verse 27 so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him male female that one then god saw everything that he made and indeed it was very good only sin that can distort our image but when we accept jesus christ and we remove our lives from any manner of sin the blood of jesus straightens our lives one more time Up next, Roy's music.
We have been here in Nyeri High School in Nyeri County and we have been talking about which topic? Self-realization. Yes. And tell us one thing that you've learned about this topic. Being positive about yourself. Uh-huh. And you? Uh, we should take practical steps towards being uh, towards our self-realization. Exactly. And we know that you also at home have learned a lot as well. Uh, remember to follow us on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram at Royce for Christ. Even as we continue to get better together, encourage these young men in what you see that they have done well, and God will bless you. Also, if you'd like us to visit your institution, contact us on the number appearing on your screen. Until next Saturday, where we will be in a different school, but at the same time, Shalom. Uh, tell us one thing that you remember that you've learned that you can't forget <laughs> from the <that. laughs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>